Okay, um, this video I will clarify uh, one doubt that appeared in class uh, when calculating the conditional entropy. And the reason uh, I've been thinking on that, on, on why this happened, uh, is because I made a mistake when explaining uh, an example in class and uh, I want to make sure that this mistake gets corrected and you fully understand how to do that. So remember that uh, when calculating, when we have to calculate the conditional entropy, uh, of course we can always resort to the definition, which is um, a, a double summatory on Y and J of the joint probability distribution of the variable, uh, random variable x, y, and y, j times the logarithm of 1 divided by the probability the, of x, y condition by y, j. So this is the definition and of course you can always resort to this uh, formula to calculate the uh, conditional entropy of x condition by y. Um, the confusion came because I told you that an equivalent, completely equivalent way of calculating it, uh, maybe and sometimes was uh, simpler, was uh, doing just uh, one summatory. And in this summatory, you will have the probability, the marginal probability of the distribution of uh, variable y, random variable y, times the entropy of x condition by uh, y j and i told you that you can either, uh, is uh, use either way and as a matter of fact it was exercise demonstrate that both formulas are the same so the confusion uh, came from the fact that uh, this i did not calculate it uh, properly i did an, an error in the in the class and i will uh, repeat this uh, part of the exercise to clarify how to do that. Okay, so remember that in a class we did an exercise where I show you uh, a table of uh, a joint distribution of variables x and y, and we have like for x one, two, three, four, and for y a variable uh, random variable one, also one, two, three, four. And uh, we had probabilities, for example, in this uh, row it was one eighth. 1 16th, 1 32, and uh, 1 over 32. And, well, I, I won't uh, put the rest. Okay, so uh, in this exercise, there was a point that they asked me to calculate the entropy of uh, x condition by y. And I apply the, the formula. Uh, this formula here, and I say, okay, you just have to do this calculation, the probability sum to the probabilities of the variable i, uh, y, times the entropy of the distribution x condition by y sub y. Okay, and the error that I made is that I told you that this you could read directly from this table, and this is wrong. Okay, what I did in class. What I did in class, and again, this is wrong, uh, wrong, okay, was uh, to say, okay, the entropy of X condition by Y is the entropy of the distribution of probabilities that I see by rows. For example, the entropy of X condition by Y sub uh, 1, I told you that it was the entropy of a distribution of, pro of uh, probabilities like the one that you see in the row corresponding to y1, which was 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 six, uh, over 32, and 1 over 32. This is what I did in class, and this is wrong. This is wrong. Why? Because what we can read in this table, as I have explained to you several times, is not the conditional entropy and sorry, the conditional probability, but the joint uh, the joint distribution of uh, both variables. Okay, so uh, that is the error. So what do you have to do then? What you have to do is calculate correctly uh, this x condition by y, for example, by y one. 
What do you do? You apply the definition. The definition, this is the probability of x and y1, okay, divided by the probability of y1, okay? And for this, of course, you need to run for all the values of, uh, of x. For example, for x1, you will have then the, uh, the probability, sorry, this is not the entropy, okay? This is the probability of x conditioned by y1, okay? Sorry. And uh, so for x1, you will have the probability of x1 conditioned by y1, and this you calculate it like x1 joined with y1, which is this one, which is 1 8. And in the denominator, you put the probability of y1, which you will have calculated before. If uh, you remember in this exercise, we calculated the marginals of uh, distribution of py, which was uh, for y1, uh, it was 1 fourth. For uh, y2 was one fourth, for y3 it was also one fourth and one fourth. That was the marginal of e of y, okay? The marginal uh, distribution. So here we put the p uh, probability, the marginal of y1, and this is one fourth, okay? So then this probability is one eighth over uh, divided by one fourth. This is one fourth, okay? And you the same, do do the same. Uh, for x2, for x3, and for x4, you calculate these joint probabilities. The result of uh, this uh, calculation is exactly uh, what uh, we had in, in, in the exam, sorry, in, the, in this resolution in class, okay? These probabilities are the ones that you need to put in this formula. So, for example, if we develop the for this formula, the entropy of x conditioned by y will be p y1 times the entropy of x conditioned by y1 plus p y2 a entropy of x conditioned by y2 and so on up to up to four. Okay. So in this case, as we have seen, you put probability of y1. Uh, is one fourth. And now the entropy of X conditioned by Y1 is the entropy of a distribution of probabilities of X divided, sorry, of X over Y1 that we have calculated over here. That if you calculate that, it is, uh, sorry, this is one half, okay? This, uh, distribu this distribution of probability is one half, one fourth, one eight, and one eight, okay? And this term basically is what we have put over here, and you do the same with the rest, okay? So that was my error, and again, I want to clarify that of course you can use this formula, this formula is perfectly valid, but the calculation of this cannot be done reading by rows in this case, but you have to calculate it with the definition of the probability, which is x condition to each of the y's, okay? Uh, if we apply uh, this to the other problem that we saw in class, which was the problem of the sick person and the test, uh, we can see that everything goes uh, as, as it should. So remember that in this case, we had uh, the variable x that indicated the sickness, okay? One and zero and uh, here indicated the result of the test taken. And also we have uh, one and zero. Okay, I put zero one the way it was stated. In this case, this was 0 0.05, this was 0 0.25, this was 0 0.6, and this was 0 0.1, okay? If we, uh, in the first, I think in the first uh, apartado of the problem, I think they ask us to calculate the marginals of y, and the marginals of y are very easy to calculate. You just, in this case, is true. You just, you, just, you just add this and this, and the marginals is the probability of y being zero is 0.3, and the probability of um, uh, y being uh, one is 0.7. Okay, just adding by rows here.
Okay, so uh, and in this case, we also were asked to calculate the entropy of X conditioned by Y. Okay, again, you can use perfectly the definition or you can use the formula that uh, I gave before. In this case, this formula will be the probability of Y uh, being zero times the entropy of the distribution of the x variable condition by y being zero and the other term in this case we only have two terms the other term will be probability of one y being one times the entropy of a variable x condition by y being one okay and let's uh, so calculate this i can and calculate this because this we already have and it's uh, 0.3 and this already we have is 0.7 okay this is coming from here and this from here okay so let's go uh, we do exactly uh, as we have done before the entropy of uh, the variable x condition by y being zero we calculate it by first calculating which are the probabilities of the different x condition by y being zero and we have two cases the probability of x being zero if y was zero and the probability of x being uh, one conditioned by the probability sorry by the variable y being zero okay and here we apply the definition this will be the joint probability of x being zero and y being zero divided by the probability of y being zero and here again the definition this is the joint probability of x being one y being zero and in this case probability of y being zero here this is something that we can read in the table p zero zero we can see is 0 0.25 p zero zero is 0 0.25 a p y zero is here is 0.3 p one zero is p one zero is 0 0.05 this is 0 0.05 and p y zero again is 0.3 okay and we can calculate these probabilities this and this one okay and then we will have those probabilities so then the entropy will be the entropy corresponding to uh, this probability we put it over here and the other probability is this one we put it over here we calculate this entropy and we do exactly the same for the entropy that we need here the entropy of the variable x condition in this case by y being one we calculate first the probabilities of x when the variable y is one and we need to calculate first the probability of x being zero with condition by y being one and the probability of x being one if y was one okay here again the joint probability in this case is zero one divided by the probability of y is one and in this case will be p one one divided by the probability of y being one p zero one we go to the table and we can see that this is 0 0.1 probability y, y one is 0 0.7 probability one one is 0 point uh, pa, 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 six exactly 0 0.6 and probability of y one again 0 0.7 so we obtain another two probabilities Another probability is that help me to calculate this. This will be the entropy of a distribution which has as a first probability here exactly this one and the second probability exactly that one. Okay. Now we have everything. If you uh, put it, uh, put here all the values 0.3, this value here, uh, 0.7 and uh, this value here you get the same result as the one you see in the definition, which was around 0.6 or something, or seven or something like that, okay? So uh, in summary, uh, uh, you can either use the definition of the conditional entropy, or you can use this, 
but if you use this, you have to mm, remember that this one is not shown in the distribution table, but you have to calculate that. And to calculate it, you need to use uh, the probabilities that come from the definition of the conditional in, uh, probability, probability, which is that one, okay? My error was to think or to, to forget that here in this table, you don't see these probabilities. In this table, what you have is these probabilities, and you have to do this, apply the definition to calculate the conditional probabilities. Okay, I hope that now it's clear. I beg your uh, pardon for uh, the confusion created. I hope that now is, is uh, perfectly clear, and uh, well, I will see you at the exam. Uh, well, at the exam, no, at the second part of the uh, subject that we will start after Leo has finished uh, his, um, his lab with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.